34 stone, I knew when we began that Sandy's health was in crisis. But having failed to do what he was prescribed, his situation is now critical. The results from the medical test are alarming. But it's what his blood tests reveal that's more worrying. Sandy has done to himself what people in France do to geese. He's created foie gras out of his liver. He has force-fed himself so much that his liver is absolutely jam-packed with fat. And it's so much so that it started to impact and kill the ordinary cells within his liver. So a little like somebody who's drinking a bottle of whiskey a day or a severe alcoholic, his liver is now starting to die in certain places. If we don't stop it now, it may well be that in addition to all the other trouble that he's got, he can end up with severe liver failure. And that's called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. He has all the signs of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This is it. There's no going back anymore. There's no cheating anymore. There's no treats anymore, really. There's just this new lifestyle, and that's it. That's all I've got. Because if it's not, then the only other way is death, and I don't want to do that, so. The main thing with Sandy is we have to make a lifestyle change. This is about him waking up in the morning and just putting the body in motion not going and working out for two hours and then being done. That's great, but it's not productive for Sandy. Um, so we're going to put some things in place, give him some purpose in his day. You know, with Sandy, we're not going to see drastic changes. This is reality, and the reality is this is going to take years and years to really get him to a good place. It's still going to be a struggle. So we're dealing with it with a pretty, pretty severe case right now. So we found out the information. We've talked. We've done all that. Now it's time to do some work, OK? We know that the results that came back on the heart we, we can get you to the anaerobic threshold, but we don't want to stay there for too long. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to get you to that point where you're breathing hard, your face is turning red, but not pale, and getting good work done. That's what you have to do, OK? OK. We're going to start out with some boxing, man. One, two. Get rid of that old Sandy, right? Yep. Right. <laughs> yeah. One, two. Go. Ah, uh, uh, you uh. save. With your training from now on, you want to get to this point, take a break. Right. It's just not worth the risk. Yeah. We know that we're safe right here in this zone. All right, buddy. Forward and back, pushing. Pushing and pulling. All right, all right, all right. And we're there. Good job. Good job, Sandy. How you feeling? Tired? You worked hard in here, man. I told you I like to put everything I can. Proud of you, man. You're keeping your head up despite everything we heard today. Yeah. That takes a lot. Well, I've heard bad news all my life, so, you know, a little bit more doesn't harm. You know, well, as long as I can, well, this is, you know this is I mean? not just bad long, news. No, it's this is... devastating news, but as long as I go forward now, that's the yep, main thing. That's right. All right. I think you get it. Yeah. I do, honestly, because I didn't realize my conditions was as bad as that. Right. <sighs> this is the right time. This is your time. Yeah. And we're not just going to toy with the time anymore. We're going to use it to our advantage. OK? Yeah. All right, man. Give me a hug. Give me all sweaty. All right? What's happened in the past is done now. I have to be 100% now. I can't have little cheats. I can't do that, because if I'm doing that, then I'm only going to put one more nail in that coffin. And I don't want to die. You know, I'm, I maybe suffer from depression and that kind of thing and get really low sometimes, but I don't want to die, you know. And I saw that many people in my, my family die so young, and I don't want to be the, the sort of next one on that, that hit list. In spite of his setback, Sandy lost 10 pounds this week. It's vital he continues this way to give his liver the best chance of recovery. And through it all, she offers me protection, a lot of love and affection, whether I'm right or wrong. His calorie intake needs to be a strict 1,400 a day. He's not ready to do this alone. So I'm taking the measure of sending him daily controlled meals. Three minutes. Um, I lost 10 pounds again this week. I'm 397. 
Yay! I actually broke the banner! <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased, I really am. I uh, can't believe that I'm now under £400. Food is a drug that will kill him. So we have to look at it as medication. The mill deliveries is not a long-term thing. It's going to be short-term, but I'm hoping that for him, he'll be, it'll educate him. He'll be able to say, okay, that's good for me, and that's a portion size, rather than, oh, here we go, boom, boom, bam, I'm just going to eat that. He's going to be able to look at things and say, okay, that's healthy. I didn't know that. You walk too fast. I bet. You, you do. That's faster than I walk on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a girl. Pick up the pace, baby. Oh, Here it is. Blooming hell. Come on, matey. It's more important than ever that Sandy keeps his body in motion. He needs to do low-intensity exercise and lots of it. Come on. See, so you're fitter than you think. Yeah, because I'm walking at your speed just about. And you could have gone quicker. Oh, no. Could have. I couldn't. You could. Because even on the maps, it doesn't seem. Come on. Up. Getting out in the fresh air, it's amazing. And I look around people when I'm out there and it's like, everyone's just like, oh, oh. <laughs> Cause it's just their normal day. But to me, getting out is so, so much better. You know, it's like before, I could have been dead. You know, now I could have been dead. And I'm not now, I'm so, so much alive. Yeah, breathing in, nicely from side to side, mate. Again, hit. It seems Sandy's Wait. turned a corner. His confidence is growing, and I feel there's a chance he's finally making changes that will stick. Well done, mate. That's brilliant, I'm telling you, I'm impressed with that. Superb. Who'd have thought you'd been coming to a place like this, working out outside? I wouldn't have. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. One, one great, great big thing for me is um, being able to move about a little bit more. Like, getting up and out of bed was just such an ordeal. And now I can do that, whereas before I couldn't. Going to the toilet, like before, I needed to like physically bend my arm around my back just to kind of wipe myself. I needed, you know, to go to the loo, and that was so embarrassing. But now, you know, I don't have that problem. It's great. <laughs> But it's these kind of things, you know, it's these kind of things that all you people out there take for granted. You know, it's so much easier to do if you're thinner. Um, so I'm really pleased with everything at the moment. Uh, life is going so fantastically. As, as you know, um, or you should know, um, if you don't know, I'm gay. <laughs> and I, I really enjoy going to gay bars, uh, especially uh, the karaoke. I just, I just love it. It feels like I'm a new person. The, the Sandy you see now is not the Sandy who is up there. Um, when when I'm up there, I have I, I almost become an extrovert. I, I'm I'm very confident. I'm not Sandy in a way. I'm someone new, but the crowd still sees Sandy. Why not actually do the whole thing? Why not? get a song, a couple of songs together, and actually do drag. Full drag. Half Sandy's battle was having the courage to get out and be himself. The better he feels, the more he does. And the more he does, the more weight he loses. It's all about getting his head in the right place. The other day there, um, I had a sort of minor blip. The snacks that I've been getting delivered to me. I had one, th there was a very, very sweet taste and it just tasted incredible. It was unbelievable. And uh, 
basically, I thought, you know, I'll have two or three and that'll be me. Then it led it into, like, another two or three. And before I know it, the whole four boxes that I bought were, were gone. So that was like 20 bars at 90 calories per bar. So that was a lot of calories and uh, it wasn't good. Oh, son, amigo, stand front the attack. It's frustrating when you're trying to give someone so much and then they don't give it back, you know? It's, it's like, I'm trying here, I want you to succeed, but you don't want to. You could have this life, but you're not, you're not, you're not showing that you want it, you know? So it's tough to handle. So we're gonna have some one-on-one -on -one time. We're gonna have, I'm gonna try to have a good time with him, get him to open up, figure out what his plans are for the future. And, uh, and hopefully, you know, tap into a side of Sandy that we haven't seen yet. Hopefully see Sandy open up and, and be real in a, in a genuine way. Sandy! Get your ass in here, man, come on! <laughs> I don't know how to keep that door open. We're going camping. We're going camping. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. La 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 la. For you, I mean, we started this thing and you were basically living inside of your apartment. You were kind of in prison, right? Exactly. And I think the greatest thing you've done is break out of your shell. Yeah. You know, I'm really proud of you for doing that. Um, yeah, I'm really proud of myself as well. Good. You should be. You should be. To me, going camping, that's enjoying life. That's breaking out of a prison. So we're here. Let's unpack this camper van. All right, let's go ahead and drive those sticks into the ground there. Yeah, this is fun. When was the last time you went camping? <sighs> Probably when I was about 15, 16. It's been a while. years ago. Yeah. Now you can put up a tent. Before, I'd never done anything. There we go. I feel like, like you've gone backwards a bit, and that's why I'm asking. Well, I think that's where my headspace is at the that's, moment. Okay. I just, if someone says you've got to die in a year or two. When you first started the program. Yeah, I couldn't have cared. But why, so, man? Why wouldn't you care about I, I, I really didn't enjoy it. I hated myself. You know, I would, jo I would have fun and laugh at the, at, like everyone else would, but deep inside, I hated myself. What do you so, think, it, what so do you think it is? What is it that... Uh, you know what? Let's, let's do this. Let's go eat. Right. We're going to start a fire. We're going to hang out. We're going to chat further, okay? Because right. there's a lot that I think needs to come out that we need to talk about.